Welcome back to another Terranscapes video. Uh, today, we are going to be taking a look at the revised plans of the ORC display board. Um, but uh, I just want to mention before I forget that there will be some shout outs. Everybody calls them shout outs. Nobody shouts. So I'm going to start calling them notable mentions. So uh, I have some notable mentions at the end of this video. Um, but uh, I have some new perspectives on this project. I've been thinking about it. And it has to do with tying it in thematically with uh, GW's very stylized look. And the client sent me some models uh, to use as a guide for, say, color matching and that sort of thing. And it really made me think about it in a very different way. So this is a long video. It's going to definitely be probably a three-parter. Uh, and I have tons to talk about. So to start explaining some of the new thinking, we should go to the computer and I'll show you more. So when thinking about um, it, matching the Games Workshop theme, their thematic stylizing, right? They have a very stylized wood. They have very stylized stone textures. Um, and I want to try to match a lot of the elements using GW bits because of that styling, which carries over into the army in terms of the weapons they hold and the wood that's shown there and that sort of idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through sort of quickly all the bits that I'm looking at. And um, then I'm going to show you how I intend to use them. Um, and there's a ton of bits uh, to show you, so I'm not going to talk too much about them, but we'll just go through them and you'll get a sense of the kinds of things I'm looking at. So. Um, Plenty of bits from the giant kit. We're going to see more and enough that it makes me think I should just buy a giant kit. I might do that. Um, assuming the uh, client approves of this kind of an idea, all right? So if, the, if I'm heading in the wrong direction, that's fine. I can go another route. But um, I wanted to present this idea um, first. And um, bits from the spider riders. I thought this would make uh, maybe a nice sacrificial dagger or something like that. Of course, some of the other bits very useful. Um, this is from, mm, uh, I don't know, maybe, um, yeah, probably, um, totems and uh, um, uh, banners. Um, this is from the giant kit. Love those bits. You're going to see I have some others. I want food around. This is an important one. Um, this is from the Skullvane Mance uh, building kit, which is discontinued. GW, of course, this is impossible to find. I have looked and looked and looked. You cannot get these bits anywhere. Um, I have this section already, and I would love to have this section. And um, if I can't find these, I, you know, I might use this and, and shh, don't tell anybody, but I might make molds of it and cast my own bits from it. Um, but I have another option that actually might be better. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, oh, here it is. This is from the um, Witch Fate Tor uh, building kit, and I would love these way more. Way, 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 way more. Um, but I cannot find these either. Um, so, yeah, that's a, and I don't have these bits. Um, I don't know, and I don't want to buy the whole kit just for this. <laughs> you know, there are still some floating around on eBay, I think. So, um, anyway. I would love those. Um, this is a raven from the uh, giant kit. I, oh no, from the Garden of More. I'm not paying $350 for this raven, but I wanted to show you um, how I would like some ravens. Love this cage from the giant kit. Can't find that. Again, buy the giant kit. These spiders. I want these spiders. I want a lot of spiders. As their own, it's very hard to find these. I'm trying to think. I might have found one on eBay. I don't think so. Me, mm, anyway, I want these um, and uh, keep going. Um, the Savage Orc Shields, these are not easy to find. Um, probably because they're awesome in there and they're uh, a great assortment for other purposes. You know, I love this. I want to use things like this. Talk more about that. Uh, or maybe not, but using, <laughs> I might not talk about it later, so I might as well now. Um, I might. I want, how about that? I want, um, you know, these kinds of, of bone tusk pieces. Now these are fairly easy to sculpt, so I think I'm gonna be sculpting um, a handful on my own, um, but these are the kinds of things I'm also looking for. 
Um, these are from the Boar Boys, their shields. You know, the, the Mork and Gork uh, symbols. You know, I'm looking for those for sure. And, um, you know, can I sculpt these? Well, yeah, but to get them to match thematically, it's a lot of work. It'd be so much easier to just buy the bits. These are available, I think, a little more than the other ones. Um, actually, real quick. Uh, oh, oh, they have a whole bunch here. Yeah, okay. Um, more from the Giant Kit. See that stylized wood? See, that's a very, very distinctive look. Um, so that's why I want to use bits to try to capture that. The um, Arachnarok um, uh, sort of uh, howda, whatnot, um, spider shrine. And this is a very stylized web effect. And I've been thinking about webbing. And I think I'm just going to sculpt webs that look like this to use um, if the client, of course, likes this idea, these themes, because these are not that hard to sculpt. Um, you know, I could sculpt them in Super Sculpey and then um, make a press mold of that and then, um, you know, press mold into that green stuff, something like that. Real easy to make and, um, and then I can use them in a variety of spots. More from the, I love that. Look at that. Isn't that great? Uh, more from the Arachnarok. I'm calling it how to I don't know what they officially call it, but that's what it is to me. And again here, right, this wood, very, very stylized. Um, you know, it's it's branches, but their their shape is, you know, sort of soft. Um, and since the uh, client has two arachnorocks, right, this is, this is present throughout. And it made me think I might use um, this around the idol. We'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, I just like this totem. I want that. I know he already has um, this guy on the Arachnorock, so it'd be a duplicate. I'm trying not, uh, there's going to be some duplicates if I go this route, but uh, I can modify these a little bit to give them a more distinctive look, you know, cut these off, put more feathers on this side. Um, you know, I have to take the hand off anyway, um, put feathers down here instead, right? So I'm, I'm, oh gosh, I could take his feathers right off his head and use them. Yeah, you see what I mean? So I can modify these to keep them distinctive from the other elements that are already in the army. Um, but, uh, man, I just want that that little totem. Um, this is from the Arachnorock, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I like that guy. Um, I was thinking about something to do with him. I don't want to talk about it right now. Um, but I could see using some of these elements in some places. The spiders, oh, they're in twice because I really want them. Um, Black Arch Shield, I'm going to talk about where I want to put these kinds of shields in a little bit later. What a great assortment of bits. Look at all these flat, uh, feathers and skulls can cut off and put places. Um, and uh, maybe some cloaks, um, that sort of idea. Um, this is from the Giant Kit. I think I'm just going to have to buy that kit. And um, I think this is from more from the uh, Giant Kit. Um, I don't, you know, I have the giant kit, um, which I've used uh, parts of and built some. I don't recognize these shields from it, but uh, not, not that I would use them. They're the wrong style. Hmm. But anyway, um, this. Okay, now I want everybody to sort of pay attention to this because I want more of this. This skull on this club, I really like this skull. So um, I'm going to cut this off of this. Um, a branch here and I want to use this on the altar and I'll talk about that a little bit later. I want more skulls like this. Animal skulls, um, things like that. I'm having a hard time finding big skulls that are part of GW kits. Um, I think there are some maybe in the Ogre Kingdoms. I don't, I didn't call these up for the video but Keep this in mind and think about this because I'm hoping you guys can help me find some. And I'll, um, well, I guess I'm mention it now. This is one of the things I need help finding, like the walkway for the Witch Fate Tour building. The Stabba, uh, that's a great thing. And again, right, I, I don't want to make a, a branch that has a big weapon on it on my own because I'd have to, to match this style um, and, you know, fill in these bits and trim this and all that. But, you know, that is very distinctive. So what, what is that? Uh, like a little feather thing that hangs on it? That's cool. All right. Let's see here. 
All right, so that's it from Hortabits. Let's take a look somewhere else. Now from eBay, um, I found, right, this person does have um, a few of these um, Savage Orc shields. I was happy about that. I'm gonna pick up a couple. Um, this is from the Ogre Kingdom's Thunder Tusk. Now, oh my gosh, do I want this? Oh, I can't, uh, oh wait, can I, there we go. I love the little chickens on hooks and the, the water barrels and the meat and the, oh my gosh. You know, some things can't use because they're not going to really tie in well, um, like the, uh, you know, the, the traps, obviously. But, oh, this is such a treasure trove of goodies, goodies. This is very hard to find. This is the only one I can find, and um, I'm afraid it's going to sell right out. So uh, if the customer likes this, I'm buying it right away. That little pot in the upper corner there, um, that pot is uh, great. I want to use that on the altar. Talk more about that in a second. Okay, now here's the big, here's the big thing. Um, I'm going to show you an elevator in a few minutes, and the elevator is... Um, I would like it powered by snotlings. And these snotlings, this assortment is um, the one I want to get because many of them are holding things in a way that I can modify to show them holding ropes and pulling and pushing on levers and that sort of thing. I've looked at a lot of snotling sets that people are selling and this is the best one. I love this set. I want to use this if the customer is okay with it. I can pretty confidently paint these to match the army. That's what I'm thinking. Um, and uh, ooh, it would just make the elevator so awesome. And you'll understand it more when I show you the elevator. This is a rare, rare, rare listing. Um, so I want to snatch this up. Oh gosh, three days. So I got to get this video up and make sure that the client sees this and he approves of this direction. Let's, before we talk about that, I just want to show you this. These are some giant spiders from the old days, I guess, of, um, oh, I didn't even think to blow them off. Look at that. Um, and um, I like them. You know, again, they're very stylized and they fit with the GW thematic, I think, very well. These are, these are older. So um, I was thinking, these are from the UK, though. I'm not paying UK shipping. Well, maybe. Um, but... Uh, you know, things in this vein are things I'm looking for. All right, now the last thing is the um, scribe. And actually, let's. Now, the scribe is from Escape from Goblin Town. This is going to relate to the elevator in a few minutes. I'm going to show you. Um, but this uh, is a great foundation for the elevator. So I'm thinking about picking up two of these and then I can use them as the support structure for holding up the elevator. So try to keep this in mind when I show you the elevator because um, I think it's gonna really work out. Now that little counterweight right there, this is not gonna be big enough for the um, elevator to look right. So I'm looking for big objects that uh, bits that I can use for this. Now the giant has this giant wheel in the kit. I think that would work well. Um, it also has this uh, uh, broken archway. I showed you that earlier. I'm not as fond of that. Um, a lobber um, counterweight would be great. Man, can't find those. It's like a uh, needle in a haystack. I don't even know if they're out there. It's a very small needle in a very big haystack. I can't find them. So um, that's something that I'm looking for. There's a few options. Uh, you can feel free to make suggestions on it if you want. And look at up the top here. See, these are the kinds of skulls that I'm really looking for for bits. You know, this one's got these horns. You know, there's a lot of these represented in the GW uh, world in their models. And, um, you know, Anything in this style are things that I'm looking for. So if I didn't show you something uh, in this video that you know of, um, let me know. Let me know. If you want to sell me bits, I will buy bits, um, especially the ones I can't find. So um, keep that in mind. I want to use the whole Goblin Town scenery. And the reason being is that these planks are battered, you know, great size. They're probably a 
hair small because Lord of the Rings is a slightly smaller scale, but I don't think that that's a problem um, in terms of the way I want to use them. And um, I, you know, I plan on grinding off all of these bones and everything, and then you know, be easy to just touch up that sculpting. But trying to sculpt all of these myself is uh, it's work that I don't really think I need to do. Um, now, the kit, you know, I can buy parts of the kits but i can't buy all of the parts and i want like these two tier uh supports i i really want these things so my plan again approval pending is to um, buy this kit so i can use these in a variety of places and i'll share a few of those places um right now <laughs> 